Nick, this is a team that beat BYU last year. That was a tough loss without Yoli Childs up in Boise. But now Boise State comes into Provo. I, I don't think people realize Boise State has a really good basketball team. Yeah, Boise State is an exceptional basketball team. Uh, they, re- they return uh, Mr. Alston, right, who was an incredible player for him last year and gave us real problems. And so, uh, obviously, you know, the, the other guys that they have on the team, a couple of transfers, the guys that are seniors, uh, you know, they're very experienced, they're very well coached, and uh, they're a good basketball team. Uh, they, you know, preseason-wise in the Mountain West are planning on giving uh, everybody problems, uh, including San Diego State up there at the top. So uh, we're excited about the game. Uh, we feel like we're well prepared. And uh, now we got to come out and, uh, and compete. Nick, it uh, seems like the season was just tipping off, and now already we're six games in. How do you evaluate this team through six games? You know, through six games in 10 days, um, you know, what incredible fight and energy uh, that, that, you know, this BYU basketball team has brought to the floor each night. Um, you know, obviously USC was a little bit of a setback for us, but, you know, St. John's basically on the road uh, and then on the road, you know, at Utah State, uh, you know, is always challenging. Uh, we feel great uh, at this particular time, but understand that there's a lot for us to improve on. Right. There's a lot where we need to get better and uh, we'll continue to do that. So it was nice to get back and practice for two days and uh, clean up some things. Um, but, you know, in tonight's game, you know, we're going to have to you know, execute what we have practiced uh, early this week and uh, come out ready to fight again. Let's talk about some of those things you hope to do a little bit better, because the nice thing is you've been able to win five of six while still trying to figure out rotations, personnel and what works and what doesn't. So. Where do you go from here and what you've seen so far, luckily, with a 5-1 and one record? Yeah, no, I think in terms of, you know, the overall rotation, in terms of our roster, you know, each guy has got to continually, uh, you know, understand, you know, what's going to make, you know, him and us successful right on the court. Uh, you know, we've got multiple guys that, you know, are entering, uh, you know, game number, uh, you know, seven uh, right now of their college career. Um, You know, obviously Alex and Matt and Brandon uh, and Connor, you know, have done a great job, you know, as kind of our experienced veterans. Um, But, you know, we've got guys that have to continue to, uh, you know, improve in their game performance and they're they're doing so. Um, You know, in terms of, you know, the areas that we've got to continue to improve on, you know, we feel like defensively, you know, we want to continue to do a better job um, of keeping guys in front of us. We want to continue to do a, a better job of, Um, you know, what we call hit first in order to be able to rebound. And then offensively, you know, guys, you know, as they continue to be put in positions to be successful by Coach Pope, that, uh, you know, they're able to execute those plays. And uh, obviously we've turned the ball over a little bit too much uh, in the past few games. And so we're really trying to, you know, do a much better job of taking care of the basketball, protecting the ball, and making our teammates better. Coach, everybody knew that Barcelo was poised for a big year, and boy, he certainly hasn't disappointed. What, what's been the thing that's impressed you most about him, and how has his play affected the rest of the guys? Because he's just been phenomenal. You know, last year, you know, after, you know, uh, uh, you know, putting in, you know, tremendous work at the three-point line, um, you know, he's been able to uh, be just as, if not way more <laughs> efficient from the three-point line this season, which is uh, incredible and, uh, you know, really a credit to his work ethic. And, um, you know, he, he and Coach Figure have worked, uh, you know, day in and day out, you know, in film study, uh, you know, on the court, uh, you know, for him to be able to, uh, you know, transition to, uh, you know, the position that he played in high school, right? And so, you know, his pace of play, right, his toughness, his leadership, uh, you know, continue to impress me because I feel like he's getting better every day. Let's talk about some more of those individuals on Boise State's team. You may, you mentioned uh, Derek Alston Jr., who's going to be an NBA draft pick, either late first round or mid-second round kind of guy, Six nine guard, so that's fun. Uh, then you have Emmanuel Acott, who's an Arizona transfer. He's eligible after, after playing one game now. And Abu uh, Kijab, he had 33 in a game last year. They have all kinds of weapons. How do you feel like BYU matches up with the Broncos? Yeah, no, I think that, you know, we match up well, right, individually, right? But ultimately, it's going to come down to us as a team, right? Will we be able to execute, right, the defensive assignments uh, individually on each guy? Because they each, you know, bring different strengths to the game. 
And, uh, you know, like you mentioned, they've got guys that have, you know, played at this level, uh, at a very high level, and have had tremendous, uh, you know, individual performances. Um, you know, but again, this team, uh, you know, is really, really dangerous because of their experience and because, um, you know, their ability to be able to uh, take the individual performances uh, and combine those. So, you know, we've got to be able to, you know, guard the defense. We've got to be able to defend the three-point line. You know, we want to be able to, uh, you know, protect the middle of the paint. Uh, you know, it's key for us, obviously, to uh, manage Alston. Uh, who's a really good player, but we don't want any of their other guys to, uh, you know, get ahead of us uh, in terms of what they're capable of doing. Coach, Matt Harms was a guy that, uh, that, that missed the first part of the season, but then now you've had him back for several games with no restrictions, you know, full go. How has he implemented himself into this system? And I mean, he's coming off a great performance against Utah State, four blocks. I mean, defensively, you know what you're going to get. How, how, how has that acclimation process been with him? You know, with Matt's, you know, minor, you know, setback in terms of, uh, you know, his ankle, he's been an everyday guy, you know, each, each day he brings, you know, a lot of energy, uh, you know, to this basketball team, you know, obviously we, we were, we're grateful that he's one of the top rim protectors uh, right in the country. And, uh, you know, his ability to be able to defend, uh, you know, uh, protect the rim, protect the paint, you know, and then offensively, you know, he's d done a great job of, uh, you know, acclimating himself to, you know, what we do and, um, you know, finding, you know, great spots to be able to, you know, make his teammates better uh, as well as take advantage of his size, you know, at seven, three, you know, and his ability to be able to move like he does, uh, you know, we're really grateful to, to have him, um, you know, and what he's capable of doing night in and night out and day in and day out uh, to help our guys get better. Let's finish with this, Nick. Colby Lee started the first four games, but has played about four minutes the last two games. Was that a coach's decision, or was that related to some kind of injury? No, Colby Lee is doing a great job. You know, in terms of the the limited minutes, he's come in and done what he's done successfully. You know, for the past year, and that's uh, you know score the basketball. You know, obviously with rotations uh, and matchups, you know, we have to take that into consideration each and every game. And uh, but Colby, he's always ready. You know, he, he does a great job of preparing himself and preparing this team. And, um, you know, when, when his number is called, uh, whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to come out and perform, and he's done it each and every night. Absolutely. Well, we look forward to tonight's game. It's a big one with Boise's Day. This is a, a resume builder for sure, and uh, we look forward to it tonight. Nick, we appreciate the time, man. Hey, thanks, guys. Let's go Cougs. Let's go Cougs. Tonight, BYU and Boise State coming up on BYU TV and BYU Radio. That was Nick Robinson, assistant coach on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why, we show how. I